Suicide and public safety personnel. What we know, what we think we know, and what we don't know. Originally presented by Dr. Simon Hatcher. If you or someone you know is thinking about suicide, there are people you can talk to. Talking about suicide can be very difficult. Suicide provokes strong feelings in oneself and those around us. Suicide is a rare, catastrophic event. Suicide is often a polarizing issue, and in society, it is viewed in many ways. Suicide can be viewed as a moral problem. Suicide is done by bad people. Suicide can be viewed as a social problem, with suicide caused by social difficulties. Suicide can also be viewed as a medical problem, with suicide caused by mental illness. Approximately 11 people a day die by suicide in Canada, and that rate has not changed much in the last decade. Suicide is more prevalent in middle-aged men. People who die by suicide may have had something bad happen to them in the past. They may feel trapped or hopeless. People who die by suicide have the means, opportunity, and the aids, tools, and power or ability to die. People who die by suicide have feelings of loss, being trapped with no escape, and hopelessness. PSP face unique risk factors for suicide, including access to weapons and other lethal methods, shift work, they focus on helping others rather than addressing personal needs, and they are exposed to trauma on the job. PSP face stigma and toxic workplaces, and they have a herd identity and the uniform which can create a feeling of being in or out of a group. PSP also have unique protective factors including connectedness, social support, sense of purpose and duty. It is thought that PSP have a higher rate of suicide than the general population, but evidence is variable and it is hard to choose a group to compare to PSP, which means it is difficult to determine if their rates are higher than other occupations. We don't know how many PSP die by suicide in Canada. There is no method of tracking suicide by occupation. We don't know if PSP exposed to suicide are more likely to attempt suicide, and we don't know how to prevent prolonged exposure to trauma causing mental injuries. So, how can we help? In order to prevent suicide, we must improve identification and treatment of depression in primary care, increase awareness of depression and mental illness in the community, improve knowledge and decrease stigma, train gatekeepers, and train people to know how to respond to the question, are you feeling suicidal? We must also manage media and publicity, provide better care for high-risk groups, manage identity and other risk factors. How do we specifically prevent suicide in PSP? We use many of the same methods. Primary prevention, before people become high-risk. Improve access to medical health screening address non-medical factors, train gatekeepers, secondary prevention, seeking treatment, provide better access to care and improve treatment, manage transitions between work and non-work better. SIPSERT will be developing guidelines to help organizations that have experienced PSP suicide. If you want to contribute to this guide, contact us.